This is Ember Jackson, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church of Tupelo, bringing you another devotion, a word from the Lord. Hear now this scripture. Matthew, the sixth chapter, verse 34. Reading from the New International Version of the Bible. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough troubles of its own. Our emphasis today is on the fact that often we worry about so many things in life. We worry about what tomorrow might bring. But in Matthew, the sixth chapter, Jesus is reminding us that we should not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will have enough troubles of its own. Each day has its own trials and tribulations. In the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this situation in which we find ourselves, God is reminding us through these words of Jesus that we should not worry. Perhaps you, like me, are saying, well, that's easy for you to say. But remember, Jesus also had many things to worry about. He had to worry about rejection from his own people. He had to worry about being tempted by the devil. Jesus had to worry about being beaten, spit upon, crucified, and buried in a borrowed grave. But Jesus knew in spite of all of the difficulties of life, all of the worries and trials that he perhaps may have experienced, Jesus knew that he could go to the Lord in prayer. And Jesus reminds us today that even though we may have trials and tribulations, anxieties, we don't know what tomorrow holds, and many of us are fearful and nervous about the pandemic, about the economic situation that we find ourselves in. God wants us to take a deep breath and to breathe out. And Jesus is reminding us of these words, do not worry about tomorrow. These words are very powerful. For many, they make no logical sense. For some, they may be irrational. But as Christians, we believe in the word of God and the words of Jesus Christ, his son. And Jesus wants us to be reminded that he's there for us and will take care of us. There is no problem too large for God to handle. And let us take our burdens to the Lord and leave them there. In the chapel today, there is a chancel rail. Sometimes in the middle of the day, I come over and I kneel down and pray when I feel burdened. I invite you in your homes or wherever you are to kneel down wherever you are. Take your worries and burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Let us pray. God, we come in with trials, tribulations, anxieties, with worries. Remind us that Jesus said, do not worry about tomorrow. So let us release our anxieties, our fear, and let us turn them over to you, dear God, knowing that you hear our prayers and that you will answer our prayers. This we ask most humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen.